Um, so yeah, this presentation will go over Spotify's journey to upgrade its monitoring infrastructure, moving from a bespoke internal system called Heroic to a more modern open source solution built around Prometheus and Victoria metrics. This goal was to achieve faster insights, improve accuracy, and increase operational efficiency. Let's see, it doesn't do it on this screen. One sec. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm Lauren Rochar. I'm an engineering manager at Spotify, specializing in observability and reliability. Our team is responsible for this migration, and I'm excited to share our experiences and the positive impact that it's had. So, sorry, just doing two things at once. Cool. Um, so this presentation will cover why Spotify replaced Heroic, the challenges and limitations of our previous system, key criteria for the success in the migration, so what we aim to achieve with the new solution, the selection and overhaul process, how we chose our new tools and adapted our existing systems, challenges and solutions in the migration, the hurdles we faced and how we overcame them, and then the results, impact, and future plans, so the benefits we've seen so far and what we plan to do next. So why replace Heroic? Um, Heroic was an in-house developed time series database. It served us for a time, but it presented us with growing pains. It was bespoke, it was difficult to maintain and evolve. Initially it was open source, but it later became closed source, which led to a very small community um, and limited external support. We experienced increasing stabil uh, stability issues and performance issues, which led to growing dissatisfaction among our stakeholders. Uh, furthermore, the KTLO overhead for Heroic was constantly increasing, consuming valuable uh, engineering resources from my team. So to ensure a successful migration, we established clear criteria for our new monitoring system. We needed low latency for data ingestion, querying, and alerts, as fast access to data was crucial for debugging and operational efficiency. Uh, alignment with the open source and Prometheus ecosystem to leverage community support, existing tooling, and avoid vendor lock-in. Cost and operational efficiency to reduce infrastructure uh, expenses that we had and simplify maintenance. Uh, compatibility with Grafana and PromQL, as these were already widely used internally for visualization and querying. Scalable alerting to ensure that we could reliably alert on critical issues across our vast infrastructure, and an active community around the chosen technologies for ongoing support, development, and best practices. Um, so the selection process. We initially evaluated five different time series databases and shortlisted them to two. Ultimately, we picked Victoria Metrics as a winning solution. The decision was based on hands-on proof of concepts that included extensive load testing, simulating real Spotify workloads to ensure the chosen solution could handle our scale and specific requirements. Um, beyond the time series database, we also needed to overhaul our alerting system. We replaced our in-house alerting system called Almond. Uh, while open source Grafana native alerting offered some capabilities, it couldn't meet our large scale requirements. Therefore, we adopted VM Alert, a component of Victoria Metrics, and integrated it with our new in-house tool called Alert Plumber. Um, we also implemented a Grafana read-only view for alerts and utilized GCS backed recording rules for efficient data processing. Um, so this, uh, this slide visually represents the Alert Plumber system, which plays a crucial role in managing our alerts in conjunction with VM Alert. It highlights the flow of alerts and how our internal tooling integrates with the new Prometheus-based uh, ecosystem. And then a quick aside, uh, just because I mentioned MMA before. So what is MMA? It's our managed monitoring and alerting, or MMA is a declarative configuration tool designed to manage monitoring and alerting at Spotify. It allows us to create and manage Grafana dashboards, alerts, and SLOs using simple YAML files, which are all version controlled. So how does it work? Um, each service includes a monitoring info.yaml file specifying monitoring bundles, which are predefined Grafana panels. Um, MMA is enabled via repository configuration and is automatically handled, or handled for new projects, simplifying the onboarding process for developers. So essentially, when you go to make a new like skeleton of a project, you'll get your monitoring automatically. 
so YMMA, it was uh, adopted as our golden path technology for both web and backend components, and it's also used in data and ML. It standardizes and simplifies the monitoring setup across Spotify. It ensures dashboards and alerts are stable and reusable, and it enables tracking of changes through version controlled configuration, so you can also audit the changes. Um, we've seen over 90% adoption among production backend services at Spotify. It's played a key role in the migration we did from HQL, which is heroic query language, to PromQL, and it easily enabled developers to configure dashboards and alerts using new PromQL standards. Um, so a significant challenge in the migration was the difference in data models between Heroic and Prometheus. Heroic had a flexible but often inconsistent data model, which could lead to discrepancies. So basically, people could put in whatever tags and values they want, which is super messy. Prometheus, on the other hand, has a standardized and more reliable model. We undertook the complex task of converting existing key and what tags, which were requirements in the Heroic data model, to conform to Prometheus rules. Um, so we did things like mapping the key and what to like a Prometheus uh, metric name, for example. Um, this also involved migrating hundreds of queries from HQL to PromQL, which was a major undertaking for our team with little to no effort required from the end users. So it was basically invisible to them, which was great. Um, so migration challenges. The migration was not without its challenges. Spotify has an incredibly diverse technology stack, including Apollo, which is like our in-house version of Spring Boot, essentially. Um, ML, also Spring Boot, web frameworks, each with its own monitoring needs. We also encountered stale dashboards and unmaintained services, which added to the complexity of the migration. A widespread reliance on email alerting added to the migration as well, as we had to move all these alerts to PagerDuty for more reliable alerting. Um, and lastly, supporting MMA customizations across such a large and diverse organization presented its own set of challenges requiring careful planning and communication. Um, so this was our migration tracker. I don't know how familiar y'all are with Backstage, but Backstage is our developer portal at Spotify. Um, it was instrumental in managing the migration process. So we built a custom migration tracker within Backstage that allowed us to um, allowed us and teams to see the status of their services migration, track progress, and identify any outstanding tasks. The, centrally, the centralized visibility was crucial in coordinating efforts across hundreds of teams. So I don't know how we could have done it without this. And migration results. So the results of the Prometheus upgrade have been significant and overwhelmingly positive. Query speeds are over 10 times faster, drastically improving the debugging and operational efficiency for our engineers. We achieved significant cost savings by moving away from Heroic's bespoke infrastructure. Um, we have improved dashboards and more accurate metrics and alerts, leading to better insights and faster incident response. Without the need for our custom Heroic data source in Grafana, we can upgrade Grafana more easily and often being able to utilize the latest features. And due to Heroic's slow querying, especially over long periods of time, we had created data sets to allow users to utilize BigQuery for looking at historical data. After the migration, users were able to quickly query months worth of data in the UI, and as a result, we were able to deprecate the heroic data sets, leading to additional cost savings and simplifying our infrastructure and maintenance burden. And this is some of our user feedback. So the impact of the upgrade has been widely felt across Spotify. After a successful early adapter program, we rolled out GA of the new platform, and users immediately noticed faster Grafana dashboards and real-time alerts. The improved query builder within Grafana also led to increased adoption and satisfaction, and we received fantastic feedback from our users with some quotes that I have up here, like, this graph was the most beautiful thing I've seen in a long while. <laughs> it's literally been years since I've been able to see something like that. What strikes me is how fast our panels load. Looking at any time span over six hours with high granularity was impossible before, but is now doable with the new platform. And I'm loving the new Grafana. It feels faster and more up to date on features. So all this feedback really validated a lot of our hypotheses when going into this migration. So what's next for us? Um, our work doesn't stop here. We're continuing to focus on improving the user experience and exploring additional integrations. A key area of investigation is open telemetry, which y'all are talking about today, um, which is a long-term solution for us for our logging and tracing needs, potentially. 
The key benefit of OTEL is its ability to standardize logs, metrics, and traces, which will allow us to visualize them all together in one unified UI, providing a holistic view of our systems. Today, we're still a little all over the place uh, in various UIs with our various forms of telemetry. Um, we're also working on an MVP for an observability AI agent. The agent will leverage AI to reduce mean time to resolution and further improve service reliability by proactively identifying issues and suggesting solutions. Um, expanding on open telemetry, we see significant strategic benefits in aligning with this open source standard. So some of the benefits would be it aligns with our existing open source stack, which includes Grafana, Prometheus, and, cre and will create an open, uh, a cohesive and well-supported ecosystem. Uh, enables trace, metric, and log correlation in a single UI, providing a powerful way to understand system behavior across different telemetry signals. And as folks have mentioned earlier today, semantic conventions would be super helpful for us. Um, and it supports faster iteration and tailored user experiences as we can build on top of a standardized framework. So to summarize our experience, here are some of our key takeaways. Don't settle for legacy systems. Continuously evaluating and upgrading your infrastructure is crucial to avoid technical debt and dissatisfaction. Open source and standards. Foster support and innovation, so adopting open source solutions and aligning with industry standards, uh, such as Prometheus and OpenTelemetry, provides us access to a vibrant community, continuous development, and a rich ecosystem of tools. Migration tooling is key. For large-scale migrations like this, investing in robust tooling, like our internal fleet shift processes, which create automated PRs for folks, um, and query converters, like we had in Backstage and a few other places, is essential to manage complexity, automate tasks, and ensure a smooth transition. Speed, reliability, and savings are achievable. So by strategically upgrading our monitoring platform, we achieve significant improvements in query speeds and reliability, while simultaneously realizing substantial cost savings.